Roundabouts in China, are they the same as the United States? Here we enter a roundabout, completely uncontrolled. And this crosswalk is also uncontrolled. Traffic can enter it, pedestrians can cross it. Here we see a bicyclist taking her chances with the automobiles. She doesn't look. There's a brown car that's going to be exiting from the inside lane, five lanes away from the exit. And if she had have looked, then she probably would have lost that fight. But she didn't even look. And that's kind of the way it works here. It's a first come, first serve, kind of a play chicken event, and there's a respect for that. So these bikes generally like to go in packs. And you can see that as they go in packs, the cars tend to leave them alone. This taxi almost hit us. So just as you enter another part of the circle as a pedestrian or a bike, you've got to look out for the cars that are coming out. This white car let us pass. But this taxi coming in will not give us a break. There is no yield on entry for the large roundabouts in China. If you are a bicycle or a moped, you need to stop or take your chances. Here comes a white car on his way out, ready to cut us off, and it did. So we immediately look to the right now to see what cars are coming in. This scooter is shielding the way for us, so I feel safe riding behind him because he would be the first to get hit. And as we continue, we need to now look to our left to see if any cars or buses are about to exit and cut us off. Not appearing to be that way, I need to look to the right to see what cars are coming in. There's a taxi. And so it's a constant left right, left, right. Here comes a black car. Will it let us go? No. Cut us off. So we needed to come to a complete stop. And then we look to the right to see if any cars are coming in. And they weren't. So that's the way it works in the big roundabouts in China. Cars will cut you off. You need to be careful. First come, first serve kind of like a game of chicken. But it's an unwritten rule that nobody hits each other. Nobody has, per se, the right of way.